Hi, Kieran here again. Now in this video, I'm going to be going through the desktop app for Easy Video Suite. Now the desktop app for Easy Video Suite is a very simple uh, tool, but extremely powerful. And that's what Easy Video Suite represents and is the vision of Josh Bartlett. Simple yet powerful. Okay, so what we have here is the, this is the main um, center for the conversions of videos and I'm going to grab uh, some videos to put into here and I've got uh, four different uh, file types here and the very good thing about the um, easy video suite is that it can actually convert videos to web ready videos ready to play on any device your laptop your desktop your uh, tablets your smartphones just with drag and drop and we're going to do that now and I'll take this uh, WMV file drag and drop into the areas uh, to to convert now you can actually take multiple files and process them in here as well so I'll demonstrate that um, and there we go and so we can actually upload and convert them uh, in in uh, in queue so what I'm going to do is click on this one here which is FB3 now I can rename the video and uh, we'll call this uh, Facebook webinar replay and there it is it's been changed over for the name now the upload button here this is going to go through a process uh, there's a the um, the the progress um, indicator there five percent and that'll just process through it's a, a semi-large file uh, and that will convert the video through to an mp4 web ready highly optimized for any device for um, playback online now the really cool thing about easy video suite is that while it goes through this rendering process this conversion process it's actually creating multiple versions at different screen resolutions designed for every device out there as I mentioned the laptop desktop tablet and smartphone and it's invisible in the background this process is happening right now but as a user they don't see that now when it gets played back on the website when you've embedded it on your website via easy video suite it will easy video suite will intelligently detect the device that you're watching it on and serve the best available quality video to that device in real time very very powerful and uh, you know think about this handbrake no longer do we need handbrake no longer do we need to muck around with the settings of uh, handbrake no longer do we need to create multiple different files using handbrake and adjust and change the settings and hope that we got it right we don't have to do that anymore all we do and as you can see here we dragged it and dropped it now this is the uh, this is the WMV file remember WMV and it's getting converted to a web ready video um, now the other thing I haven't changed it down below here you can actually save a copy of this file there it is now it's uploading to uh, my easy video suite uh, dashboard and that's what we'll, we'll talk about in a little while um, so we could save it as a local uh, local um, on our local hard hard drive and I have done that so that's down here now this slider here this slider is uh, relating to the quality of the of the video so you can either have the quality up here for the highest uh, highest screen resolution or down here the uh, smallest screen resolution and uh, anywhere in the middle here works perfectly fine I'm playing with a few different uh, settings uh, as I as I play with the easy video suite and they're all coming out with excellent web ready videos mp4 and everything is ready to go no more handbrake no more mucking around and wasting time it's all here okay I'm gonna stop that because uh, I don't um, want to uh, process it for um, for this video and uh, so we just hit the delete key that's fine so we've got three three files left 
Now, if we wanted to um, edit any of these, and let's say we take this one here, we can go and hit this edit button. And that's going to bring up the simple editor. So as well as a record, which I'll show you in a moment, we can actually edit this video. So if we want to take out, you know, the, the start of it and we just hit cut here and that will remove the section. Uh, if we wanted to move that to the end and we wanted to adjust and cut off the end and we just hit cut, we can adjust that and it will also play back that section of video. So we just hit play and we've got a preview player right here. And if we're finished with it, we just hit finish. And if we don't want it anymore, we just hit cancel. And that'll take us back to our desktop app. Now, the other thing is that this Easy Video Suite desktop app is a recorder. So let's click on this. So as well as grabbing videos from our desktop, we don't need this anymore. Um, we we can grab videos from our desktop or we can record using Easy Video Suite. Now, Easy Video Suite can record from your screen and we'll do that in a moment and it can record from your web camera. Now, if you do not have a webcam on your computer, it will not display this button. It will only display this button. As mine does have a web camera, this button it gets displayed. So I'm going to demonstrate the uh, recording of the screen and we can move we can move this about uh, the screen here and uh, inside the recorder is a drawing and annotation tool a whiteboard uh, which is very very powerful and the features are shown down here. So what I'm going to talk about first of all is the size of this uh, screen recording because this is the screen recording area and let's see what size it's listed at 718 by 438 now if I wanted to change uh, settings and say if I wanted uh, 720 uh, by 360 and I set the size and it adjusts the size now also, we've got a uh, button here, Lock Aspect Ratio. So I'm going to set that. I think that adjusted there. I want 720. Oh, actually, it was on Lock Aspect. So let's take Lock Aspect off. I want 720 by 360. I'm going to go Set Size. There it is. Now I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to click Lock Aspect. So that's locked in. Okay, so that's fine. Now, I can actually increase this this uh, screen size by dragging it here and the aspect ratio is kept the same so you see the aspect ratio so that's very very powerful very simple so going to use the drawing tool and that brings up a range of these tools here so right now I can um, click draw there we go and that was my circle. Um, that is my circle. I am a, a person who can draw great circles. And also I want to draw some sun or some eyelashes, I could say, maybe. And uh, awesome. Okay, so there's my awesome awesome art and maybe I don't want that uh, recording on the screen maybe I want it on a white canvas and so in the white canvas I'm going to clear the screen in here I'm going to change the thickness of my drawing tool that's fine and in here I can demonstrate to people how you know anything works so if I was talking about a uh, squeeze page and I had a uh, video here and I had the opt-in form here with the fields, that's fine. And then I had some copy here. And and then I wanted to point out something else. And so we'll just, you know. And then, so I can fully demonstrate to somebody using this whiteboard, this drawing uh, tool. And it's called Just Draw. And that is built into Easy Video Suite. And it's absolutely a dream to use. Now, I haven't actually pushed record yet. So let's, uh, let's clear the screen and do a little recording. So clear. 
and um, what I'm going to do is switch off the canvas and I'm going to record, we'll, we'll record say 10 seconds let's go to countdown there and here we are, we're recording this section of the screen here and so what I'm going to do is uh, turn on drawing I believe drawing is on, yes now I don't want that, I want a different colour so clear and let's go for green and that's awesome and now fantastic and we'll also use a little bit of a whiteboard and put some yellow in there as well okay so we'll stop that recording now that brings up this file here capture 002 so I can upload that and that will convert you see it's very quick that was a short video and that is converting to a web ready uh, file which will be uploaded to my EVS account and then I'll be able to publish it online so that is something which is very powerful um, and that will process in a moment now the when I uh, go up the top I can get the drawing tool which is called just draw and over to our left here I can actually have the drawing tool used even when I'm not recording so right now um, it's set and I can point out that this here is the video that's being uploaded that I just recorded a few moments ago and this is the progress so we have over here this is uploading to my EVS um, account and uh, here's the progress bar 44% that'll process through and behind here we also have a YouTube button so when this gets fully uh, fully uploaded we'll have a look at YouTube but YouTube integration this is able to publish your videos directly to YouTube from within easy video suite so that is a very very uh, neat feature so you can just add your video title your video description details uh, and uh, set that up and it will integrate directly to your YouTube account okay so it's almost uh, almost processing there um, and we can actually delete well I'll switch off switch off drawing we can delete these files here I just hit the delete key that's fine um, and we'll, I'll just have, pause the video oh no it's it's cranking along so it's almost there so this is going to be something which will be shown in the dashboard and we notice the name of the file is called capture 002 that's what I left it at just as a default but shortly it will be um, uploaded into easy video file suite now something I'm going to demonstrate when, when this is uh, ready and when this is done is the preferences menu which I will bring up now easy video suite has uh, three different preferences once the video has finished uploading so that's processing there it's at 92 percent now uh, what I've got mine set on is that this will re this will uh, put the URL to the video that's been uploaded into my clipboard so we can see it's finished now and so I'm going to bring up a uh, Firefox browser and we will see that this video is ready to play already on the um, already on the uh, page so we'll bring up Firefox which we can see is uh, here and we're going to paste in because that went to the clipboard and here it is bring up the page capture and here's my video And here we are, we're recording this section of the screen here. And so what I'm going to do is uh, turn on drawing. I believe drawing is on, yes. Now I don't want that, I want a different color, so clear. And let's go for green. All right, so I'll pause that there. So that's got the player, a uh, very basic player, very basic page, and this is something which has just been fast and efficiently um, set up 
we haven't even visited the dashboard to create this this page so if you were doing a screencast for somebody with a problem with their computer and you wanted to share that video quickly and efficiently easy video suite will allow you to do that so let's have a look at uh, those other features which in the preferences setting for easy video suite dashboard and so we could actually have grabbed the embed code which will allow us it will put it into the clipboard and that will uh, be readily available for you to add to your website your wordpress or or your html site so it goes to the clipboard uh, alternatively after the the video has finished you could have directed it uh, directed yourself directly to the easy video suite dashboard so very very powerful tools very neat i've chosen the uh, send back the url for the uploaded video so that's all good there all right so we'll close that down and uh, so this video has been recorded it will be in my file in the in the web-based uh, dashboard and that's where we'll go to next so we'll see you in the next video this is kira mcdonough from easy video suite